This might just be the best B-roll lens for your Sony A-series camera on the market. And it's really cheap. So this is the Sony E-mount 3.5 to 5.6 16 to 50 OSS lens. It's the kit lens. So if you own an A-series camera, chances are you've probably got one of these lenses knocking about. I got two of these lenses when I bought my Sony A6400s because it wasn't very much more money to buy the kit than it was just the body alone. Because they don't let in very much light and I'm a big fan of shallow depth of field, these have just sat in a box ever since I got them. But this morning, I started building my B-roll set, which is a dedicated space for me to shoot B-roll. B-roll is one of the most important things when it comes to reviewing products, but it's probably one of the most boring things to shoot. It takes a long time, so I thought I would dedicate some time this morning to setting up a dedicated area where I can film my B-roll and have that footage directly ingested into my computer, like I showed you in the video that I made last week showing you how you can just ditch SD cards. I'm using exactly the same method for this setup. So I can record my B-roll and it ends up directly on my computer. If you're interested in that video, there's a link in the video description. But I digress. I finished building it. It looked good. It looked like it was gonna work. And I thought, right, time to test it. What lens can I put on that camera and just leave on that camera and never worry about not having it with me? I'm already using my 30 millimeter from Sigma, my 16 millimeter from Sigma, and I had an 85 millimeter Viltrox lens, which is probably a bit too zoomed in. And then I thought, oh, go on then. I'll just try using one of these. And I was floored. The fact that you can have a 16 millimeter image, a 50 millimeter image, everything in between, and then using clear image zoom, you can punch in almost to 75 millimeters. This is a real game changer. This has now become a real usable piece of kit, and I was really impressed with the image. It's really sharp. Everything's in focus, obviously, because it's an f5.6 when it's fully zoomed in. And if you've got enough light, then that shouldn't be an issue. And to be honest, when you're looking at products, when you're reviewing products, you want to be able to see everything in focus. You don't want to have little logos coming in and out of focus. You want to be able to see everything that it is that you're looking to buy. So I wanted to make this video just to bring some acknowledgement to the fact that this lens isn't as bad as everyone says it is. And it probably is the best value B-roll lens for your money. You can get these for about 60 or 70 quid on eBay because nobody values them. If you're looking for a B-roll lens for your A63, 64, 6500 camera, then I'd look no further. I'm really impressed. As long as you've got that light, you're gonna have a really good time playing with this. If you don't believe me, go and try it for yourself. If you've clicked on this video, chances are you probably already own one of these lenses. So stop looking online to buy your next four, five, six, seven hundred pound lens and just try something you probably already own. I can't believe I've owned this for so long and never used it. If you're interested in seeing a full behind the scenes look at my B-roll setup, because it's pretty cool, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a dedicated video on it. Thank you for watching and this will be the last video I do this year. So Merry Christmas and I hope you all have a happy new year.